Uh, gonna go down to Logan tomorrow and do another engine height test. Um, this time we're gonna do it with this Forge V2 prop. Uh, it's sort of like a semi cleaver chopper style, in between a semi cleaver and a chopper. It's not a bad little prop. Um, so, what I've done is I've lowered the jack plate right down to where it was before when I was testing it with the 15 pitch. So, um, what I'll do is I'll put this 18 pitch forward prop on, I'll run it with a with the motor right down and then I'll raise it 20 mil, run it again, then I'll raise it another 20 mil, run it again, and once I reach 40 mil, I'll go in 10 mil increments up to where the point where the prop will lose grip and I'll start to lose speed. And once I get to that point, if I have the time, I'll bolt this um, 12 by 22 cleaver on and keep going up until we run out of water pressure and yeah, just see how high we can actually get it. When I get back home, I'll um, run a string line through the bottom of the hull to the gear case so I can give you the exact measurements. The prop shaft sits below the pad or the hull, bottom of the hull. Yeah, um, another little quick tip when you're um, jacking your motor right up is I've just modded the pisser, running it around and having it shooting out here on the left hand side so it's easy to see, I can keep an eye on it. If I trim out and the motor loses water pressure and she stops pumping, then I know just to back off and trim the motor back in and slow down. So yeah, that's her. We'll give her a hit tomorrow. Uh, right, so this is the base run with the jack plate set as low as it'll go. Pumping when I backed off, I still had it trimmed out a bit. And as soon as I backed off, all the rooster tail caught hold of the perma trim, man, and just oof, pretty scary. Um, 87 k's an hour, so yeah, I'll go and jack it up 20 mil and give her another hit, and I'll have to be careful of that. Man. Uh, right, -o, so this is uh, test two with the motor raised 20 mil. Got a couple of waves, so we'll see how we go.
Uh, so 90 k's an hour. Righto, I'll raise for another 20. Uh, righto, so this is test three with the jack plate up 40 mil. One k's an hour. Well, that's only one k an hour faster, so I'll go up 10 mil and see how she goes. Righto. Uh, righto, so this is with the jack plate up, raise 50 mil. K's again, or a little bit better than 91, so yeah, I'll uh, go another 10 and see how she goes. Hopefully these showers get, man, they're like little bullets. Uh, righto, so this is with the jack plate up 60 mil, let's see how she goes.
days an hour. Alrighty, I better go back and find out what blew out. Uh, I got down to Logan this morning to, to do an engine height test with the Forge V2 prop. Um, <clears throat> with the test, I think the first one I said I raised it 20 mil, but I actually raised it 30. I stuffed up, so the first time I raised the motor was 30 mil, not 20. But um, there was a few things that I found interesting. Um, one was when the motor was set in the lowest position, um, it was real squirrely, like chime walking and twitchy. Um, and also when I backed off, the actual water shooting off the bottom of the hole caught hold of the cab flat, uh, the perma trim and hooked me into a right hand turn. That was quite scary. Um, but I got the steering damper on that and lucky, like I've, I caught it in time, like the video doesn't show how bad it was actually, so. But um, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind if you've got a, a permitry mine and you're doing a bit of speed, like a few speed runs, and yeah, back off. Just be mindful that, yeah, the water off the hole can catch your permitry and want to hook you into a turn, either left or right, I don't know, depending on your setup. But yeah, just something to be wary of. And um, another thing I found with the engine height, like, when it was at 50 mil, 60 mil and 70 mil, there was only like 1K an hour difference. I think it did 91, 91 and 90. So um, yeah, that was quite interesting actually. I thought the speed might have been a bit different with like 20 mil sort of different in engine height. But the thing I did notice was hole shot increased like it was a lot quicker out of the hole from like 50 mil to 70 mil. Being an, an overhub prop, it would make sense. Like the engine height, it can help it, it helps it spin up a bit more and it gets a bit of air in there. But another thing I found too is the RPMs increased as well. Like, um, yeah, I think it was doing about five, nine ish at 50 mil and then when it got up to like 90 mil the tack was well past the six so it was obviously grabbing a lot harder so that tells me like it at 70 mil it was doing 1k an hour slow but it was probably doing a couple hundred rpm more so the the prop was obviously slipping and losing its performance so yeah that was um Quite interesting yeah so I'd, I'd say the optimal height would be around the 50 mil mark for that that particular prop the jack plates raised 50 mil maybe 60 mil somewhere in there but yeah also I did notice like like the other day when I first started it was a bit rougher like a little bit of wind chop on the water and when towards the end of the test and it, it glassed out a bit so maybe that's why the the sort of speed hung on in there as I was raising it up, maybe that had something to do with it. Would have been good if the conditions were exactly the same the whole way through, but I copped a bit of wind and showers and then it glassed out a bit, so yeah. But anyhow, I hope you found um, that interesting. Oh, before I go, I'll show you how far the prop was below that engine, the, below the boat. Uh, that's it there so the first word with the jack plate fully low it was 130 mil below the hull and then the first run was 100 mil below the hull uh, the third run was 80 mil below the hull the fourth run was 70 mil below and the last run was 60 mil below so for those guys that want to know how much far the prop shaft was below the hull that's her but yeah only up I hope that I hope you enjoyed it.